Hi guys, it feels so good to be back. Every time that I take a break and I get back to filming, I feel so excited and a little bit nervous, but it, somehow it feels a little different this time. Like I feel a little bit more confident than the past videos. But do know that if I'm not filming videos, it's not that I forgot about my YouTube channel. I'm always working on something, whether it's my blog or Instagram. And just keep in mind that I work full time as well. And I'm also a single mom, so I have a lot going on, but I'm always working on something. It's not that I just forget about my channel. And if you follow me on Instagram, then you know what's new. And I just announced that I had been working on a few products that I put a lot of time into, I put a lot of love into, that's going to help you guys. So I'm going to talk about that more towards the end of the video so I don't make the intro too long. And as you can tell from the title, this is a mini Target haul. And not only that, it's also what I think about the products as I have been using them for a couple of weeks. So I'm going to mention what I like about it and what I don't like about it as always. And this was my first time at Target during this pandemic. It was a different experience and without talking anymore let's begin okay so i was saying before when we got to target i was expecting the worst the day before i checked what time they open and i don't think it's usual for them to open at 8 a.m on a saturday morning if i'm not mistaken so when we got there um, I was expecting the worst like I thought the parking lot was going to be full that the line was going to be long to get in because that had been happening at other stores and this is the time when like people were going crazy for toilet paper so I thought it was going to be bad um, I'm glad now nowadays things are going back to normal but um, no um, we got there parking lot empty basically and we were the second people in line so that was great so <laughs> that's the little side story so going back to the point so um this is an elf palette that i was able to find and something about me is that i have really a small makeup collection so it's easy for me to use up what i have and then just get what i need and so the one that i have now it's only one tone so i i'm stuck with only one color but this one brings four which i really like as you can tell this is a light pink a darker pink this is also a pink but this has a little bit of shimmer so this is shimmery and all these three colors are matte and this is like a light brown so right now with my makeup i added this one this light pink and i would say these two are my favorite the light pink just because i like softer tones and then this soft brown kind of like for a bronzy earth toned look i've used that one too so these two are my favorite and so affordable as always so everything that i mentioned here as always is going to be cruelty free products that have not been tested on animals and vegan so they have no ingredients from animals okay so next up is this hello toothpaste so how i got to know this brand is because before i used to buy their mouthwash i really like the design of the bottle it looked like a water drop and i like products that are not only good but they also look nice but sadly they don't make those anymore so now i know about their toothpaste and so this one has hemp seed oil coconut oil and spearmint so oh and it's fluoride free so that's really important at least for me because the water that we use al already has that so i don't need that extra ingredient in the toothpaste and this one is so much better than conventional ones it has no peroxide artificial sweeteners artificial flavors dyes parabens dairy or gluten and the bottle is bpa free and has no flat lid so it's like all like all the good stuff in one bottle to me it gives you that refreshing sensation in your mouth but without being too harsh like the other regular toothpaste that it kind of burns your mouth at least for me <laughs> like i'm not used to those really strong ingredients like mint this is to me is like the perfect combination the right amount of fresh mint flavor and i like to put on my bottles this so i i make sure i get all the product that i can the only downside that i can say is that 
for me the bottle is too small i just wish it could be bigger that i could bring more product that would be the only downside but everything else i like okay next up is the sun bun mineral spf 30. so this one is SPF 30 which is great for your face I have been attending makeup classes and this is one of the things they talked about about protecting your skin from the Sun and so for your face you want to get SPF 30 so number 30 is like the right amount to protect your skin and to be honest it wasn't until last year that I started using protection Sun protection and before that, to me, honestly, it was not of importance. It wasn't until like I started to notice some spots on my face, but I thought it was due to acne since I've always um, had a little bit of acne. So I just thought they were scars and that they were going away. But since they were staying, that's when I started to like kind of notice that they were sunspots. So I feel a little guilty about that. And also when I used to go to the office, like on weekdays, I didn't worry about applying any sunscreen only on weekends when I go out or I'm at the pool. But something that they let us know is that even if you're in the office, you still get the rays, like the, the light rays from your computer screen, from the ceiling lights and all that can cause sunspots as well so you, even if you have like an office job even if if you're going to the store you still want to protect your skin to avoid the suns that's me she right there <laughs> she likes to be in the videos whenever i film um so yes <laughs> i got so distracted by meishi <laughs> okay so you always want to protect your skin um this one is vegan gluten gluten free paraben free hypoallergenic fragrance free oxybenzone free so what i like about this one is that it feels so good on your skin when you apply it it feels like baby skin like it leaves that soft feeling it's not sticky at all and another important thing that i I almost forgot to mention that I learned in the makeup class is how you apply it. So usually, and this is what I used to do, and I think most of us do this, we apply it and then we do like a rub, like a circular motion, like you're rubbing it to the skin, but you don't want to do that. The way or the right way to apply it is that you apply it on your skin, like dots of the lotion, and then you want to do this stippling motion throughout your skin. This way you will be sure that you will apply an even amount to your skin because when you do this what happens is that you leave product on some areas and some areas don't have it so you always want to pat on your skin so that's the right way to apply sunscreen okay next up are these pads and these pads i didn't know about i just went to target and i thought let me see what they have because i needed pads let me see their options that are not conventional options and i came upon this brand which is called l and they are chlorine free um these are the regular pads they have no synthetic pesticides dyes or fragrances but i have two these are the liners and these are the pads and this comes with 42 pads it's about seven dollars which i think the other brands is about the same price but it brings way less and these are organic cotton chlorine free cruelty free so all the best but what i like even more is what they do so basically for every purchase that you make they will donate a pad to a girl in another part of the world that needs it so some girls they don't have the resources and they miss school because they have no pads and so this brand they make sure to give that to the girls who need them so that to me it's just so wonderful so i really like their purpose i really like what they value what they support and so this one is the one that brings 80 liners um the other one that i have tried are the smaller ones that bring 100 liners so the difference is that the one that comes with 100 liners are smaller and thinner and just to let you know i use a size small for underwear so that's like the perfect size to put on the underwear this one which is extra coverage 
brings 80 the pads are thicker which i love i like the thickness of these pads but they fit a little big on my underwear nothing like a big deal i still use them but i like the size of the other ones but as far as coverage i like these um so i i feel like it would be perfect if they are the small size but with this coverage but no big deal um i like them both as mentioned before this is organic cotton um no harsh ingredients on the pads and i love what they're doing as as far as supporting girls in other parts of the world that needs it okay guys so this concludes the target haul slash review let me know what you guys think because this was a little different from what i have done in the past um in the past when it's just haul share what i bought but this time i go in depth about how i feel about the product what i think about it more like a review type of video as well and i'm just so excited to be back um i don't want you guys to think that i forget about my channel because i'm always doing something whether it's on instagram or my blog like i'm always working on something it's not that i just forget about my channel no i work full time single mom you know so i have a lot going on but i try to do my best and i'm so excited for what i have been able to add to my blog which is the shop section <laughs> kind of like a tongue twister um, I have two ebooks available. One is more focused on lifestyle, one is more on beauty. And if you check it out in the description, it mentions what each ebook offers. Um, the other section is the templates for social media influencers. If you are into social media or you are interested and you want to take it to the next level make it more like a business it's an extra way to make money i have been fortunate enough to be working throughout all this pandemic and also be making side money from my social media which is to me it's a blessing it's amazing so i give all sorts of tips and tricks and like business ideas in those templates so it has a lot of valuable information and the last section are the lightroom presets so i have two available um more if you want more of a pop of color with a natural tone um i've noticed some presets they make your skin i know they're trying to go for a tan look but they make your skin look look like orange or pink and honestly i'm that's not my style as far as like photo editing i like to enhance photos to give them that pop of color but the skin to remain like natural tone so i did that one and the wider whites which is more like for um you want to look you want to make your photos look more white like make Maybe you want like a product or food photos or whatever it is. You'll see it there. So everything that I mentioned is going to be in the description box as always. And of course, more videos will come. I always make a list of videos that you guys want me to do. I know some of you have asked for me to show my home and to do like a makeup routine, what I'm using as far as like makeup. So all of that is coming. Believe me, I have a list of videos that are pending. Thank you so much for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Kisses. Bye. Mishi! Mishi!